been putting on some makeup and perfume. Titi is off to some monkey business, I tell you, and this is why I'm going to spy on her. Where is she going? She's taking the minivan. I knew it. She is going on a date. And now I'm coming too. I'm hiding behind the bushes here in outside of her favorite sushi restaurant. Let's take a closer look. I see her. I see her. Oh, she is with that guy. Oh my goodness. Hi, Sebastian. Thanks for inviting me out for sushi. I'm glad you could make it. You look really nice. Aw, thanks. Why didn't she invite me to? She knows I love sushi. I like to eat it too. And who is this? Oh, ah, he looked at me. Oh, I think he saw me. No, I think we're good. Wanna go inside? Yeah, let's go. Okay, you guys. Let's go spy on them. I need to keep my distance so I don't want them to see me. I see them. They're getting a table, I think. Hi, I'll be your server today. How many in your party? Hi, good evening. Just the two of us. Will that be booth or table? Yeah, a booth sounds good. A booth, huh? I read in a magazine, that's a sign of romance. Downstairs, upstairs, or outside? I think downstairs is just fine. Thanks. I don't like your hair because it's pink. Okay, so don't look at it. Okay, follow me. Come on. Well, I think they're going to their table. And that girl just tried to be telling her she doesn't like her hair. Okay, they're sitting over there. I have a pretty good view behind this tree. Wait, I don't see the guy. Did he leave her and dump her already? Oh, I think he went to the bathroom. Oh, wait a minute. Bacon hair says he sees me. What do you mean you see me? I don't even know you. Okay, I better get a better hiding spot than this. What would you like to drink? Oh, hi. My date will be right back. But, um, but I'll have one of the teas. Please. There is Sebastian. He just came back and he's sitting down. Ooh, peach boba tea, thanks. I'll have the same as her. Thank you very much. Good choice. The peach boba tea here is really good. This place is nice. Who is that blonde girl with that? Why is she coming up to their table? Y'all ugly. Uh, that was rude. Oh, that girl just, that girl just dissed my mommy in her date. She called her ugly. Oh no, she didn't. I'm coming. Hello, you ugly. What's the matter with you? Don't you don't just walk around telling people they're ugly? Okay, so you ugly. Don't call my mommy ugly. I'm ready to throw hands. Shut up, noodle head. <laughs> oh no, she did not. You're a noodle head. You are a noodle head. Oh, mama, boo -boo. You are a noodle head. I hope you get kicked out of this game for being a meanie. You are the noodle head here. And you know what? You want to you wanna take that outside? Because I don't let nobody talk about my mommy like that. Okay, you want to throw some hands? Because I have been playing lots of karate games, so I can take you down. Oh, she disappeared. Because she's scared. I know, Goldie is fierce. Well, what was that about? I haven't been here for a while, and I think this place is full of trolls. I don't know, that was really, really weird. But I think you look beautiful. Ew, bleh, disgusting. That is so corny. Ooh, I can't even wash this. So, the edamame, the fried rice is really good, the miso soup, and we should totally get some um, tiger rolls. Hello, I think we're ready to order. Oh, look at him. He is so polite. So, have you told Goldie about me yet? Well, not exactly. I think it's still a little soon. Um, I think when the time is right, you will totally meet Goldie. And you'll think she's amazing. Well, at least he wants to meet me. And of course he's going to love me. I am adorable. Have you seen me? Oh, yeah. Super cute and funny. This sushi place is really weird. There's like people fighting everywhere. There's about to be a fight right here. And that guy looks like a potato. And they're like insulting each other. Things are getting a little heated here. I should probably not be watching. But I can't stop looking. They're all like fighting each other right now. His pimples have glued himself to the compu rusty computer screen. Tommy the kid, you are rude. And I don't want to watch this anymore. Um, this is actually, has, this is, has more tea than Titi's date. Oh, look at the cutie chefs, they're cooking right now. I'm actually getting real hungry just spying. Maybe I'll go upstairs and get a snack. What in the world is that? It's a broccoli burrito person.
Ethan. Oh, she's kind of scaring me. But she looks really funny and fun. Oh, and she has Easter eggs. And she's a Sprite can. One costume. Um, hi. You are cool, but um, just to be honest, I don't like to eat broccoli. How dare you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but um, I'm here because I'm spying on my mom. She's on a date. Yeah, she's here. Do you want to help me spy on my mom? That would be kind of funny. And you're a really good cover-up because you could totally block me. Oh, lordy. Yeah, it is kind of awkward, but this guy seems kind of nice, I guess. And someone called me a noodle head earlier. And this place is full of inappropriate people, including Broccoli's friend. I don't know what kind of place you two went to, but I'm out of here. But Broccoli says she wants to help me spy, so, you know, I'm not going to say no. Well, she kind of sticks out like a sword thumb, though, but she is big enough to cover me. Oh, no. I think Broccoli's friends are up to no good, and I don't want to be hanging out with the wrong crowd and getting kicked out of the sushi restaurant. Huh? Everyone's so mad at each other. What's going on? Broccoli, I just want to see my mom. I'm going to hide behind your burrito. We have a new waitress. I think our other waiter left. Yeah, we wanted the miso soup and the fried rice to start. <laughs> That's really funny. Sebastian, we actually have a lot in common. Don't get too close, Broccoli Face. They're just talking? Okay, thanks. He probably makes really lame jokes, like dad jokes. Enjoy your food. <laughs> this is really good. You think we should get closer? You're a daredevil. Thank you so much, Broccoli Head, for uh, helping me and blocking me and letting me spy on my mom. You think the guy is nice? You do? Oh, well, the food was really good. Do you want to go get ice cream? Ice cream? Absolutely. I had a really great time tonight. You know what? Maybe it is time for you to meet Goldie. What? Brother holding hands! Oh, ew! Guys, should I continue spying on them on their secret super date or what? Tell me down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And check out my sick dance moves. This weird weekend episode of Battle Rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My mom did not get you to see you wiggle wiggle. Oh, oh show. Make you want to dribble dribble. You know, riding in my fear. You really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack. But luckily the feet go back. I got a knack to relax in my mind. Let me tell my friend. Red wine. help? Nope, I got it. I'm going in the lake, Goldie. What? That's crazy talk. There's like all this bacteria and yucky stuff in this lake that's disgusting. Tita, don't even think about it. Poisonous. Oh, <gasps> he did it. My career as a pet sitter is gonna be over. <gasps> I found it. This is just like the one Jessica and, and Bree have. Oh, I really want this too. But oh man, it's $200. How can I convince Titi to buy this for me? Oh, she'll probably not want to buy it for me. How can I get the money? <gasps> Let me check my piggy bank. Let's see. Oh, it's empty. Just got a couple coins and a band-aid. Hmm, I have an idea. <laughs> Titi, come here, please. Can I ask you a question? I have something important to tell you. What's going on, Goldie? And why are you watching the news? That's not important right now. I have an announcement to make. So, Titi, I've been thinking a lot about health and overall wellness, and I've and I've decided to take control of my life and start living a healthier lifestyle. Isn't that great? That's amazing. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna start eating more vegetables? Are you gonna start doing some? Celery juice in the mornings. No, not not like that. Maybe in the future, but for now, I'm going to start being more active. I'm going to walk a little more, you know, move around, get some more exercises, get some steps in, you know what I mean? Doing some Zumba, 
taking the stairs, you know, ranking up those steps like I said. Hint, hint, steps. That sounds wonderful. Well, then I guess we both agree it's a wonderful idea. So to execute this new wellness plan, there's one little thing that is crucial that I need to get. And what's that? New sneakers? No! It's the new 4G, 3G, Wi-Fi, LTE, two steps away from having Apple Watch. And the amazing feature is that it counts my steps so I can be a healthier person. Okay, and how much does that cost? Uh, let's see, uh, $200. $200 for a watch that counts your steps, Goldie? That's a lot of money. You definitely don't need a watch to get more exercise and do all that. You can just go outside and do it. Okay, but that's not all. You can also text message, have apples into music, answer from your phone, and all the kids at school have them, and my friend Jessica and my friend Nina, they text their parents and their friends during lunch break during school hours. Uh-huh. I knew you wanted to watch for more than counting your steps. Okay, you got me. But I really, really want it. It's better to just tell me the truth instead of making up some phony lie that you want it because you want to be healthier. You wanted to text and to listen to music. I know, I'm sorry. I really, really want it. Please, please, CD, please. I'll never ask for anything ever again. I've heard that before. Okay, this is the deal. I'll pay for half of the watch if you can come up with the other half. Okay, let me see. Let me calculate this on my board. That's one hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. How am I gonna come up with that much? That's crazy talk, TD. Goldie, you can come up with it if you really want it. You'll find a way. Earn some money. Find a job. A job? This is the part where you're gonna tell me that when you were a little kid, you had to walk to school and you had no phone. No. Cause I already heard that story. Wait a second. I got a great idea. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah. Actually, my lemonade and smoothie stand were a bust. They did not work out for me, so that's not a good idea. Neither did my ice cream truck. Oh, hey, there's Jessica, our neighbor. She's got a little puppy. Hi. Wait a second. I just got the greatest idea. Yeah. I got a great idea. I just got to work on it. Goldie, what did you come up with? Wait a second, and I'll show you. A little more of this. It's going to be the best day ever. More here. Mm, yeah, and a little bit more. Are you ready to see my masterpiece and my great idea, Titi? Of course. I can't wait to see. Ta-da! <gasps> Goldie's pet sitting business. That's a cat, by the way, and a cute little dog I drew. And me with lots of money. Pet sitting business? Uh, are you sure? Do you remember when I found that cute little frog? And I made it my pet and then you told me to put it back? You actually lost that frog around the house, so... Uh, it's okay. I learned a lot from it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna get so many customers. Just wait and see, TD. Thank you for driving me to pick up the pets, TD. You're welcome. I still can't believe you got so many new customers. I know. It's gonna be the best time ever, and I'm gonna make those $100 in no time. You're gonna make a left turn over here. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Easy! Easy, don't crash into my new customer's house. They're going to think I'm irresponsible. <clears throat> All right, this is it. i got to make a good impression. It's a nice house. Hi, I'm Goldie, and I'm here to pick up Scruffles for pet sitting. Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. Easy, TT. There's my other customer here. Hello. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Hi there. Um, I'm Goldie. We spoke. I'm here to pick up Roger the turtle for pet sitting. Don't worry, he'll be in great hands. Okay, we pick up one more pet and then we can head home. I'm so excited. I'm the best pet sitter ever. Okay, let's give it a few minutes. <laughs> We're almost home. I'm actually pretty proud of you. I can't believe you have all these little pets. Kitty, be careful. There's precious cargo in the back. I need to bring these pets back home safely in one piece. Okay. Do you need any help? Nope, I got it. Whoa, whoa. Official pet sitter starts now. Look, we're home, guys. Kitty, I want to make a TikTok show in my pet business. Come on, record me. Hello, everyone. This is Goldie's Pet Sitting Business. 
Hey, hey, leave your pets. Leave your pets with Goldie's pet sitting business. You won't regret it. Yeah. Woohoo. Call me. And that came out great. Tell me about your adorable pets, Goldie. So my head is uh, Snowflake the cutest little bunny. So cute and fluffy. She loves all of the carrots. I have Roger the turtle here on my shoulder. And this adorable little beagle in my back. His name is Brownie. He's like real depressed or something. He misses his owner, I think. But his owner packed all his little stuff in the backpack. And then I have here on the wagon, this is uh, Scruffles. He's a quiet guy. And then I have Hamster Hammy the hamster here in this little jar. And guess what? I even got Granny to let me take care of her virtual pet Tamagotchi kitty cat. And I'm charging her $5 for the whole day. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? How about we eat some popcorn and watch a movie, guys? Uh, I guess they're not really too much into it. Um, I guess I can eat the popcorn real quick. And I'll get you guys some food. You're probably, like, hungry or something. Goldie, I am so tired from driving you around. I'm gonna go take a nap, okay? Yeah, whatever. Sure, I'm responsible of my pets. Thanks for helping me pick them all up, and then you need to help me drop them off too later. Okay, Goldie. We're gonna go get them a snack or something. I'm gonna take some rest. I hope Goldie will be responsible. <sighs> oh. Okay, let's get you some snacks. First for Snowflake. Snowflake, guess what? I got a carrot for you. That's awesome. Yay. And for my turtle, here's some watermelon. I heard turtles really like watermelon. And the puppies have their own puppy food. And the hamster, he just eats, like, leaves or something like that. There you go. Oh, uh, they're probably a little tired. Um, I know. What if I put them in Bloxy's crib to take a nap? No, but what if somebody bites her or something? Um, here, if you need to go potty, you can use Bloxy's little potty. Or if you guys are real thirsty, I always see in the movies how little dogs, they drink water from the bowl. This bowl. The poo, -poo bowl. Come on. You're more than welcome to. Okay, tough crowd. We should probably go for a walk. I know this is like real boring in here. It's almost light out. How about we go to the park? That's a great idea. Okay, we're here at the playground. Everybody can get down and get some exercise. I want to not only be a good pet sitter, I want to be a fun pet sitter. So you guys are going to have a good time and tell your owners. Okay, Bunny, you're kind of making my head sweat. And I'm scared you're going to poop on me. So how about you get down first? Hop around and everything. But I guess we can just swing for a tiny bit. Whoa, isn't this fun, guys? Yay! Just please nobody fly out or poop on me or get sick or something. Okay, that's been fun. I think you guys all need some time to just be free. Alright, Bunny, you're first. Go ahead, enjoy the grass and snack on snack on the leaves. Okay, these other doggies and turtles are a little more clingy, so I'll just be with them while I eat my delicious snack. I'm eating a banana because I am trying to be a little bit healthier. Alright, wait. Snowflake? Where she goes? She was just here snacking on the leaves and where's Scruffles? He was going pee-pee next to the tree. Scruffles! Oh, brother. It's okay, they're just at the park, right? They, they could have gotten lost. Are they on the lake? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, guys. I, you guys are getting real heavy, especially the beagle in the back. Brownie, you're too chunky. I'm going to put you guys down and look for the rest of the pets. Okay, just stay over here next to the, the sand castle, okay? Oh, brother. Scruffles! Snowflake! Where are you? Oh, snap! Now I can't find any of them! Except the come Tamagotchi, but that doesn't even matter! <laughs> Rule number one, Goldie, never leave your pets out of your sight! Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna get paid any money, and the owners are gonna be so angry that I lost their pets! Oh, I need help! PT! Scruffles, Snowflake, Gary! His name wasn't even Gary, I forgot the turtle's name! My career as a pet sitter is gonna be over! Titi, Titi, wake up! Something terrible happened! Titi, wake up! Wake up! What happened, Goldie? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, but my pets are not. I took them to 
let's go look for them. I will help you. It's gonna be okay. I hope so, teacher, or else my career as a pet sitter is over. <sighs> Take a deep breath, Goldie, and do the tree pose. There's no time for that, Titi! Oh, the pets are on the loose! Okay, okay. I'm just trying to line up the mood. We'll go find them. I'm gonna go get my flashlight. Okay, so where should we start? I don't know, let's go to the park. Gary! That's a, I even forgot the turtle's name! Scruffles! Wasn't the, the turtle Roger? Oh yeah, Roger Snowflake! Brownie! Oh, brother! It's okay, Goldie. We're gonna find them. Relax. We're here. Let's split up. I'll look over here. No, it's dark. I'll never find them. What if they went to another state? What if they're in a different city? <gasps> what if they drowned in the lake? I'm going in the lake, Goldie. Maybe one of them went inside. What? That's crazy talk. There's like all this bacteria and yucky stuff in this lake. That's disgusting, Tita. Don't even think about it. You can like get eaten by poisonous... Oh, <gasps> she did it. Did you find anyone? I'm looking. I couldn't find anything, Goldie. I'm sorry. Hey, Roger! You found Roger! He's on your shoulder! Thank you, Titi. Awesome. That's one out of, like, five pets you lost. Wait a second. I hear something. I hear something. It's coming from behind the bushes. OMG, I found Snowflake. And Goldie, look up in the treehouse. The puppies were hiding over there. <coughs> oh, sweet baby. <coughs> Turtles, I found them. My career is not over. <laughs> Let's go get them home, okay? I'm gonna get paid. I found all of my animal pets. Woohoo! So, Goldie, after all, you were still able to get your money. And now, are you ready to go to the Apple Store to get your special watch? Actually, the day I was thinking, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna take that money and I'm gonna give it to the Humane Society because they take care of all the animals that have no owners and it's a real hard job. And I wanna help the community. That's so sweet, Goldie. Well, since you can't afford an Apple Watch, do you want this apple, huh? That was the lamest joke ever. What a mom joke. That was embarrassing. Don't say that I'm not in public again. You're so corny. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was pretty clever. Hey guys, well I guess it'll be next time that I'll want something else. But an Apple Watch really wasn't that necessary. And you should guys definitely uh, adopt a pet if you can. Don't buy them. Because pets in shelters and stuff, they really need your love and help. Now Titi, what are you doing in the back? I'm celebrating that you're growing up and you're learning things about life. Alright, this is where we gotta go because it starts getting weird. Bye! Isn't the hype still a cool dance? No! Oh my gosh, so awkward! Hello everyone, it's Titi and Goldie. What's good? And we're on our way to the airport on this taxi because I'm taking Goldie on a really, really special vacation. And I think our taxi is going the wrong way. Are we going to the Bahamas or what? My friend Sarah went to the Bahamas and she got like really cool braids and stuff. No, we're not going to the Bahamas, but it's gonna be somewhere really, really fun. I promise, and I'm not so sure about this taxi driver. Told you she should have called an Uber. Who even takes taxis anymore? Oh no, she's going the wrong way. The airport is that way. Okay, I'm taking matters into my own hands, and I'm driving us to the airport. I didn't think there was a driver worse than you, Titi, but I guess it does exist, and now we're super late to our flight. Oh my goodness. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get your suitcase. We have to get a boarding pass, go through security, and just go on our flight. I gotta pee. Our flight is on time, but it's leaving in 2 minutes and 57 seconds. We need to move it. Okay, I got my boarding pass. Me too. Now we gotta go to security. Let's follow that lady because it looks like she works here. Okay, Titi, I'm ready. Why are you wearing a snorkeling mask? I forgot my mask on the airport. You need to wear a mask, remember? Oh, it's okay. You don't have to wear a mask here now. Let's go. My bag is really heavy. Come on, you just have to drop it up here in this uh, baggage claim, like, scanner thingy. I don't know. Just put it down here and let this bag go through. Don't leave your bag behind, Goldie. Sorry. Go get your bag. And now let's go to our terminal. Goldie, why are you still wearing your snorkeling mask? I don't trust these people here. I want to be safe. Oh, you're so silly. Okay, let's go. The flight leaves in just 41 seconds.
seconds. I am going. Where's the lady to check our tickets? No. I, what happened to my boarding pass? I have a boarding pass. Now I need to go downstairs and print a new one. Are you kidding me? I need a new boarding pass, please. Oh, jeez. Okay, you wait here, Goldie. I'm going to run downstairs and get a boarding pass. How did this even happen? I'm already late as it is. And I'm bumping into everything. Okay, I have a boarding pass. I got a boarding pass. Okay, now we can go on the flight. Come on, Kiki. We almost left you behind. Just kidding. I do want to go to the Bahamas. We're not going to the Bahamas. I already told you. Wow, this plane is nice. I'm going to first class. Good. You look nice and comfy. I'm going to sit down too. We can recline our seats. This airplane is incredible. Look out the window. Look out the window. Yeah, we're already up in the sky. I can see the clouds. Goldie, we're going to have such a fun vacation. Goldie? <laughs> And <laughs> she fell asleep. Goldie, we're landing. We're landing. Wake up. I'm awake. Oh, man. I was just starting to eat my lollipop the flight attendant gave me. Come on. We're here. Let's go. I'm so excited. Ow. Sorry, Kiki. Are you okay? I accidentally tripped you. So are we in the Bahamas or what? No, we're not. We're in the Lifetopia Island. Uh, let's go. Oh, here's our private guide. You got us a private guide? Okay, fancy pants. Said welcome to the Livetopia Beach. <laughs> Hi, thank you. She'll be our guide. And her name is Valentina. Let's follow her. Yeah, yeah. Is that a resort yeah, over there? Yeah, Morty. Come on, Morty. Let's go. Goldie? What? Do you like this beautiful pink Morty? Aren't they so cute and tall? That's a flamingo. Okay. Well, this is awkward. Okay, let's just go to our hotel. Is that a hotel back there? She said yes. Got you a flower. Thank you, Goldie. I just really needed to go on vacation to relax. Wee, wee, you know? wee. Whoa, whoa, wee. What even is relaxing? Whoa, Be careful you get your suitcase wet, Goldie. Why would I do that? That would be really responsible. Oops. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Goldie, come on. I just got you that suitcase. You care more about this suitcase or the life of your cute little adoptive daughter? I'm stuck. Luckily, this suitcase doubled as a floating device. Cause I could have drowned down back there. You are just fine. Come on. Wow, look how beautiful this hotel is. Wee, wee, wee. I want to go check in. Come on. Vacation. Not the Bahamas. Not the Bahamas. Our private tour guide also works at the hotel. How convenient is that? Okay, so we have a reservation. It was the biggest suite you have. Goldie, um, excuse my daughter. It looks like she didn't get enough oxygen on the airplane. She was wearing a snorkeling mask the whole time. Can I dive in the fountain? Goldie, can you please get off the nice lady's head? I'm trying to relax the resort, and they're going to kick us out if you behave this way. The checking is strong. Well, we're going to go check into our room, and I really want to take Goldie snorkeling. This is like the main attraction of the trip, and I'm so excited. But first, I cannot wait to see our room. I kind of splurged on this room, so are you ready, Goldie? Holy moly, we're underwater! We are on like the bottom floor and we get to see like all of the fishes. Oh, I think I found my room and they even have cute little tropical pajamas in the closet. I want to put them on, they're so pretty. Oh, wait, I found the master room. Okay, this is my room. You can even see the shark. Are you kidding me right now? This is incredible. How about we go explore the hotel real quick? Great idea. They have a spa. Even though I heard that they're a little bit understaffed. So they have a little tanning station. Oh, I could really use a massage. But nobody's working here. Oh, hey, I see you. I'm massaging my snorkeling mask. Thanks, Goldie. Okay, that's it. I'm tired. They even have a sauna. How relaxing. Let's just like put some water in it so I can start sizzling. And I can just kind of detox and relax a little bit. This is really what I needed, you know. I wanted to relax on this trip. Oh, this is burning! It's hot, it's hot! Oh no, Goldie, be careful! What do you think those sizzling rocks were? You even have a buffet. I love buffets so much because you get to try a bunch of different food at once. I got myself a nice, really, really yummy plate. And after this, how about we go on our snorkeling adventure? Finally, I've been waiting. Hello, Karen. Karen's here. Who's Karen? So our private tour 
guide told us that it is best to go do nighttime snorkeling. So I'm going to put my tropical pajamas and get a little bit of sleep. And we'll wake up and hit up the port so we can go on the boat and go snorkeling. I'm so excited. So we're here on the Dolphin Bay Tour. I am so excited. You can see the dolphins like jumping around in the water. This is the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Let's, Let's go. Jump. Holy moly, this place is amazing. Oh, look at all the colors. Look at all the fish. You can see the stingray. Wow, Goldie. Aren't you scared? No, the stingray is my friend. She's giving me a tour. This is so beautiful. I've never seen something so amazing before. I cannot believe you're swimming with a stingray. This is next level. You guys, this is such a beautiful scenery. Like, it's so relaxing. You have jellyfish. You have so much sea life. Look at all the little, like, school of fishes. I love this. This is incredible. I haven't seen a game with such great graphics. <gasps> Look at the ginormous turtle. I'm swimming with a ginormous sea turtle. This is the best. Wow, did you look? That turtle is so big! I know! Ooh, what's going on with the turtles having a seizure? Guys, tell us down in the comments if you have visited Livetopia Island. This is so impressive. Oh, you're swimming with a dolphin? I want to swim with a dolphin. Oh, this is so sweet! And the dolphins like really know where to take you. They're taking me to like some special... Maybe they're taking me to a secret place. We should go look for something secret like treasure or something. I'm sure there's something special. Let's see if our little dolphin and sea uh, f creatures can tell us if there's something. If not, we're going to have to find it on our own. And there's like a little black dark cave here. Maybe there's something going on. Yeah, usually treasure is like hidden somewhere else spooky or something. Wait, I see something. Come. Where? Come follow me, I found something! I found something, it's sparkling! Goldie, you did it! You found the secret treasure! What is in here? Ooh! What is that? I don't know, it's like a secret pearl or something! It's like a magical pearl! It's new collection of locks! Wow, we found something amazing! This is so cool! It's pretty heavy though! It is! Oh no, Dizzy, watch out! What? There's a dolphin! Let's follow the dolphin and see... Oh, that's not a dolphin! That's a shark! Goldie, be careful! That's a shark! I've never seen a shark before! Well, you don't want to see it now! Be careful! I want to take a quick selfie with the shark! No, Goldie! The shark can eat you or something! Yeah, you're right! Run for your life! Alright, oh, look at those big sharp teeth. Goldie, let him be. Okay, we've lost a shark. He's going on its own. Let me tell you guys how amazing this was. I highly recommend if you can get the pass to come check out the snorkeling down here. Especially at nighttime. It looks so, so incredible. My favorite part was riding the turtle. My favorite part was finding the treasure. It is almost better than the Bahamas. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you very soon in the next video. Look, I want to touch a jellyfish. Where's Goldie? She told me she was almost here. Mirabel, I am here, here reporting to the... Oh, is this Casita? Hi, welcome. I am so happy to see you. You're like my number one like favorite character right now. Like, Aw, thanks. You're like pretty epic. Are you going to sing the Welcome Familia Madrigal song to me, huh? Nah, I'm kind of tired from singing it all the time, but let's go inside. I'll give you the grand tour. Dab. Yeah. Aw, you still do the dab. Cute. Okay, let's go. Woohoo! Can't wait to experience La Casita Minimalita de Madrilita. It's just called the Casa Madrigal. <laughs> Come on. That's my cousin Camilo. He shapes shifts. And that's my sister Isabella. <gasps> Isabella, run away. Hi, Camilo. He's kind of adorable. I like his curls. Hi, can you shape shift into me? Nah. Eh. Well, let's go inside. Can Isabella make me like a flower crown or something? Whoa, this house is incredible. It is, isn't it? Oh, and over here is the picture of my abuelo. He's the one that saved the family. Wow, so 
such a hero. Yep. Oh, there's somebody stuck on the floor. Casita, let that person go, please. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> Shut the French toast. Mirabel, is that the person that we cannot speak of? You know what I mean? Do you understand? You know what I mean. I don't want to talk about it, but... Yes, Goldie, this is my Uncle Bruno. Uncle Bruno, say hi to Goldie. Hey. He's a little off since he lived with the rats for like 12 years or something. But he's nice. Tia Peppa, you have a clown and we have a guest. Ay, Mirabel, what do you want me to do? That's cool. I don't mind the water. I like jumping in mud puddles, so... Rain is kind of refreshing. Wee, 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 wee. If you have an umbrella, you can get it out. Tia Peppa is a clown. My friend is getting all wet. I feel like I'm on Splash Mountain in Disney World. Wee, wee. Okay, let's go upstairs. Don't you want to see my room? Yeah, I do. Wait for me. So, oh, there's my Theo Felix and... Is that Bruno with a bucket on his head? Yeah, just try not to look at him straight in the eyes. <gasps> Goldie, you cannot go in there. That's Uncle Bruno's room. Sorry. You can't go in there. If something happens to you, then I'm going to get in trouble. Abuela's going to be so mad at me. Please get out. Sorry, I really want to explore. Uh, fine, if you must. This was where my Uncle Bruno was hiding for all these years. This room is full of rats. Oh, they're kind of adorable. I will stay here all day and be the queen of the rats. That's really weird. These rats are pretty vicious. Come on, I'll show you my room. But your room is not really magical. Sorry, no offense. Yeah, but it's much safer than in here. Come on. Can we take a quick selfie here, please? Sure. Oh, I'll even put the Encanto candle. Oh, <gasps> the miracle. Yeah, let's undo that in case Abuela sees me. Now, come on. I'll show you my room real quick. You know all the doors, my cousins. Here are all my cousins' pictures when they got their gifts. Except mine, because I got no gift. That must have been felt really terrible, Mirabel. You know what, my little friend? Yes, I did. But I have learned to move on. And over here, we have my sister Louisa's room. And my... Princesa Perfecta never had a bad hair day, Isabella's room. And it's this goldie is my room. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see your old plain room. Oh, it's nice and um cozy in here. Ooh. This is a bed that you can sleep in. It has no sheets. I couldn't find any, but I'll try to sew you one later. And the other bed is mine. Ooh, um, ooh this is comfy. Ooh, ooh, so much fun. Jump, jump, jump. Casita kind of wants you to stop jumping on the bed. I'm having second thoughts about inviting her over. Okay, and over here is my bed, and that's pretty much my room. So, Goldie, what do you want to do now? I think your room is pretty cool. What's in the closet? Just my stuff. Okay, um, I have an idea. Can we go hunt for ghosts? Can we go spy on Bruno? Can we go eat ice cream? Um, we can go find my mom and see she'll make us some arepas. She makes the best arepas. Okay, I'll have an arep arepa. Arepa. Follow me. You can stay right here. Just don't touch anything. I'll be right back. I'll find you something to eat. Mama! I don't want to wait here to take too long. I'm in la casita madrigada. I gotta explore. Did someone say flowers? Oh, she must be the really pretty princess, perfect daughter, golden child. Never had a bad hair day, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. I'm Goldie. So nice to meet you. I heard so much about you. I heard you're amazing. Thank you, little girl. Here, have some flowers. Oh, you made those for me. You're such a, you're such a star. Yes, the miracle gave me a special gift of making flowers grow. Here, I'll give you some more. Wow, they smell Okay, but they are beautiful. I like when Uncle Felix says, My angel, our angel. But um, that's kind of awkward. Um, do you want to be best friends, Isabella? <laughs> I don't think so. How about have best friends? No, I'm sorry, but maybe you can ask Mirabel. She's got plenty of time since she has no gift. <laughs> but, 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 but Isabella, uh, come back. I thought you were nicer than this. <laughs> I am nice. I just like my personal space. Can you give me some tips on making all the boys fall in love with me? Uh -huh. What kind of question is that? I, I don't know. It's easy because I'm perfect. I'm kind of perfect sometimes. One day I ate a sandwich without breathing. And have you ever had ice cream underwater? Because I have. Okay, this is getting awkward and I'm going to go now. 
Mirabel, come get your friend. <laughs> I am so out of here. Hey, I thought you were in my room. Anyway, the other bus are not ready yet. That's okay, I was exploring. I met your sister Isabella. She's real pretty, but she's kind of awkward. Mirabel, I see your brother coming. He's really cute. He oh, that's not my brother. That's my little cousin, Antonio. We call him Tonito. Tonito? Oh, no way. I'm going to hide. I'm so shy about it. What? Goldie, no. Come here. Antonio, I want you to meet my little friend Goldie. Don't say anything. Hi. No, I can't. I think my little friend has a crush on you. If she makes you feel uncomfortable at any moment, you can just run, okay? Okay. Goldie, you can come from under the stairs. This is Antonio. Antonio, this is Goldie. Hi there. Come on, Goldie, come meet my cousin. I can't. Hi. Hi, Tornito. I'm Goldie. And I like to be under the stairs. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go down. He's gone, Goldie. Oh, oh my goodness, that was so hard in my heart. That was so awkward and embarrassing. I think I've, I think I've developed a crush on Antonio. <laughs> okay, that is really adorable. I saw him and my heart was like, whoa, 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 Goldie, whoa, look at that cute little face. Whoa, 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 he talks to animals, you like animals. Whoa, 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 meant to be. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Okay. I'm kind of nervous to see your grandma. Thankfully, we didn't see her yet because she intimidates me. She is not that bad. I mean, after we like destroy the house and build it back up again, she's become much nicer. Maybe we'll run into her later. I mean, the amazing Familia Madriga are always busy doing something. And I'm just kind of hanging out. What's that smell? I smell something pretty disgusting. Pressure like the drip, drip, drip till I didn't stop. Whoa. Hey, that's just my sister Louisa. <gasps> She's carrying a lot of donkeys. Oh, I forgot she's the strong one. She's not nervous. She's as strong as the earth and the earth is. The crest of the earth is. Yeah. Hi, Louisa. I'm Goldie. Uh, hi, Mirabel. Hi, Goldie. Pretty busy just passing by with the donks. Hi, donkey. Oh, that one's so cute. He kind of looks like my mom. He kind of smells like her, too. <laughs> just kidding, Titi. Okay, I gotta go. Who am I if I can handle it all? Okay, she was pretty amazing. She's gonna work on, like, some donkey perfume or something. So I think we should go to the kitchen. My mom probably finished the arepas, and I'm sure my grandma's hanging out there. You can just say hi. Wait, wait. Should I, should I change my outfit? Should I have brought her a gift? You didn't bring her a gift? No! <laughs> just kidding. Just act cool. Oh, by the way, this is me saving the Madrigal Casita. Uh, okay. Okay. That's kind of awkward and random, and thanks for shoving it in my face. Okay, follow me. The kitchen is this way. This is the dining room, Goldie. Wow. Does the chairs really move? If Casita wants to. And come on. Oh, I see my grandma. She's right over there. <gasps> I'm so nervous. I could pee myself. Don't do that. Granny, Granny, Granny. Goldie, you don't call her that. You called her Señora Madrigal or Señora Alma or Abuela Madrigal. Okay, Granny, 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 Granny. Abuela, this is Goldie. Goldie, this is my abuela. Hi. I guess she doesn't give hugs. Welcome to La Casita Madrigal, Goldie. Mirabel, can you tell me who has been screaming in this house the whole morning? Granny, 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 Abuela, 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 can you make me part of the family Madrigal, please? <gasps> oh my goodness. I, I think I need to go lie down. Okay, I think that was enough time here hanging out with Grandma. Goldie and I will go play outside. Come on, Goldie, let's go. I think I made a great first impression. I think your Abuela really likes me. You think so? So, what do you want to do now? I want to go explore the unknown. Let's go see what's over here, behind these mountains. Goldie, no, we're not allowed to leave the casita. Goldie, come back. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Goldie, that's not a good idea. I'm like Tarzan. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> I told you not to do that. Now, are you okay? <laughs> I think I'm okay if you if you take out the blood and the broken foot. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna call my mom. My mom, Julieta, she will cure you with an arepa. Mom, mom, please come. Goldie fell and she 
hurt herself. Mama, mama, mama. What is the problem, Mika? Mom, my little friend Goldie, this is my little friend. She hurt herself. She jumped from that little hill over there and I think, think she broke something. I'm so embarrassed and I'm so shy to cry in front of strangers. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Mika. It's okay, sweetheart. I will cure you. Here, just take this arepa. Thank you. It's really good. I need a little more salt. But I feel much better. I'm so sorry about all of this. Your family has been adorable and I'm just a mess. I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble in your home, Senora Julieta Madrigal. You didn't. It's okay, sweetheart. Next time you don't have to hide behind the stairs when my nephew comes around. You mean Antonio? Hey, look, Goldie, Antonio's coming back. You can talk to him a little bit. Tell him about your feelings. No, 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 I can't. No, I'm too shy. I'm out of here. I'm out of here right now. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun to play. If you want to see more videos of Encanto and you want to see what happens with Goldie and Antonio, give this video a big thumbs up. So, this is really not any good news for us. Sarah, how about we uh, sell that new um that new doll you just got? <gasps> no, never. Why? It's much more fun to have all those fidgets, Sarah. Mm, actually, no, no, no. It's new, so no. I really don't know how we're gonna be able to get this money to get this fidget box of amazing toys. I have an idea. This is something you probably haven't tried yet. What is it, Sarah? Ooh, what is it? Oh, look at my pretty flower. That's nice. What's the idea? Maybe we can pretend to be Girl Scouts and bake cookies and sell them to get money. <gasps> Sarah, what a genius plan. Nobody can ever say no to Girl Scout cookies. Um, Do you know how to make cookies? Mm-mm. I'm sure we can figure out how to make some cookies. Let's go. Let's wash our hands so we don't put all our germs on the cookies. Okay. I've never baked before, Goldie. It's okay. You can be my assistant. I know exactly what to do. Uh, let's look. Mm, chocolate chip cookies. That's going to be a good one. I've got all the ingredients here. We can also make oatmeal cookies. Those are really popular. Good idea. La 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 We're gonna make the cookies. They're gonna be the best chocolate chip cookies ever. Oh yeah. Did okay. you get the oatmeal, Sarah? Yeah, I already made the cookies. They're in the oven. <gasps> Look how pretty they are. They're so little. I hope they're gonna be bigger though because we need big cookies to make big money. And yummy cookies. And now we wait. <laughs> hey girls, what are you guys doing? Uh, 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 oh, we're making Girl Scout cookies. Oh, uh, no, uh, she, uh, what Sarah meant to do was that we're making cookies because we were a little bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Next time, ask me, okay? You should probably have some supervision when you're using the oven. Uh, yeah, next time we'll tell you, okay? Sarah, you almost blew our cover. What was that for? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Oh. What about outfits? No one's going to believe we're real 
Girl Scouts, if we don't have uniform, like, they'll think like, okay, they're girls selling cookies. Like, I've got the perfect idea. Titi used to be a Girl Scout. She used to be a troop leader. And she's got extra costumes in the garage. <gasps> Yay! Yay! We are so smart. <gasps> Yum, look at Yum. this. All right, Sarah, let's try them. Ew, gross! <coughs> These are really disgusting. But it's okay. Our customers won't know they're disgusting because by the time they take a bite, we will be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> Titi keeps lots of junk here in the garage. Sarah, look. Titi has it on these bins right here. Let's let's try them on. Okay, Goldie. Here, I have the outfit. Just go to my room and try them on. Let's go. Quickly before TT see us! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 the coast is clear! <laughs> wow! Oh my goodness! We, we look, look so cute! We look really official! Let's get to business! Come hey, on, Girl Scout! badges I have! <laughs> I know! Alright, Sarah, let's go! Um, we can use our neighbors first! Come on, come on, come on! Why is Goldie wearing my old Girl Scout uniform? What is Goldie and Sarah up to? Come on, Sarah, let's go! Uh -oh, we don't... The cookies won't smell too bad. Come on, come on! Oh, these bikes are so slow. Come on, Sarah, hurry up! Help. These cookies are going to get real cold. It's kind of hard to drive with one hand. Goldie? Come on, Slowpoke! This is our first Help. house! There's two customers here! Let's go, let's go! Hello, do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies, please? How would you oh, sure. Some more Girl Scout cookies. She said sure, oh, yay. yay. How much did it cost? $15? Um, we should go bigger or go home. How about $20 a cookie? Hi, if you would want five cookies, that would equal $20. Sarah, you're not very good at math. I said one cookie for $20, but that's okay. Put your pretty face. He, he, he. Okay. Thank you! Thank you! Whoa, that worked! We're gonna make lots of money this way. Come on, let's go find other people that wanna buy our cookies. I hope, let's go quickly before she tastes them. Come on! Uh, hopefully she doesn't taste them. Oh no, she's coming after me! Oh no, come on! <laughs> she's trying to catch me! Run, Sarah, run! Oh no! <laughs> come on, you gotta lose her! We have new customers! <laughs> She's trying to grab my bike. Oh no, it's okay. Come on, Sarah. You gotta pedal faster. My cookies. Oh my goodness, do you need backup? I don't taste any good. I think she realized we scammed her. But we did, and we did sell her cookies. They just don't taste very good. Come on, let's try to lose her and talk to the new customer. But she's following us everywhere. Maria, would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? If you would like five, that would equal um, $20. Hello, Maria. We got the best cookies in town. Look, smell them. Daddy is calling us scammers. She said we never gave her the cookies. Sarah, didn't you give her the cookies? Uh, no. Sarah! <laughs> Sarah, they're on to us. I think we should go. Escape, come on. <laughs> Paddle for your life. What's going on and why are you wearing my old Girl Scout uniform? Um, Sarah, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. Okay, uh, oh, um. What is going on? Titi, oh, we did a terrible thing. Um, we wanted, we, we wanted to buy some faces, so we pretended to be Girl Scout cookies and we made cookies that weren't very tasty and we sold them to people and we scammed them. <laughs> We're so sorry. It was totally wrong of us. I don't know that not that I want to get it and I want my money back. <laughs> I'm, at the moment, it sounded like a good idea, but, now it's, but it, now it's all wrong. And there's a lady chasing us to give her back her money. 
I was a Girl Scout and Girl Scout is all about helping others and learning as a team and being good people. I am so disappointed in you. We're sorry, Titi. We should not even, we're not even worth you wearing these outfits. We'll return all the money we took from the nice ladies. We'll never do anything like this again. Even when they were chasing us, it was kind of funny, but I think we learned our lesson. Sarah, I'm calling your mom and telling her about this, and Goldie, you're grounded this weekend. What? Oh man, I guess we kind of deserved it. Now please go and give the people their money back. Okay, TT. Okay, TT. Oh. <sighs> Let's get the customers back their money. That was a terrible idea, Sarah. It's not my fault. You made the terrible cookies. I hope the girls learned their lesson. Hi guys, it's TT. We are celebrating the first day of summer. Last night, Goldie had a sleepover with her best friend, Sarah, and her best friend, Emily. And we have a day full of fun. I am going to wake them up with baby Bloxy. And guys, can you see what's different about my kitchen? If you have noticed, tell me down in the comments. I am so excited. We're gonna have the best first day of summer ever. Good morning, girls! Hide, hide! Stop hiding, Goldie! Shh. Good morning, TT! Good morning, Sarah! Where's Goldie? And uh, let me do a head count. Wait, where is Emily? Boo! You found me! I was hiding behind Sarah! Okay, Goldie's here, but where is Emily? Oh, she's in the bathroom! So did you guys have a fun night last night? What did you guys do? Yeah, we had fun, but... Emily had too much snacks. She was in the bathroom the whole night. She had too many like cheese pops and fur roll ups and she had too much ice cream. She had too many cookies and, and Pringles and gummies. Oh no, I hope she's okay now. I hope she doesn't have a bellyache. We should go check up on her. It was very stinky too. Okay, I'll definitely go check up on her. I may have told her that our ice cream was dairy free and she's lactose intolerant. Goldie, why would you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny like a prank. Goldie, that's not funny. You can't joke around with allergies. I'm sorry. I saw this in one of Granny's prank books that she has in her house. Titi, can you go and check up on Emily? I'm a little worried. Yeah, I'll check up on her now. Emily, are you okay in there, sweetie? Yes, TT. Some privacy here, please. I think I might need some extra rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> oh no, I'll go get you some more toilet paper right now. I'm gonna do my makeup. I need to get some breakfast started. Oh, Emily, sweetie, are you feeling better? Yeah, TT, I feel better. Thanks for asking. I just had to use the bathroom a lot. And I think that little Miss Goldie had something to do with it. And I'm talking about you, Goldie, you little prankster. Me? I have no clue what you're talking about. Girls, get down from there. You're going to get stuck. No, I won't. TT, I'm really hungry. My stomach is rumbling. <laughs> okay, I'll make you guys something to eat. And Goldie, no more ice cream. And Emily, the ice cream made you have a bellyache. I know, but it's just really yummy. Actually, TT, can I use the bathroom in your room? The one upstairs is clogged. Ah, I gotta go! Now that is not my fault. Oh, okay, Emily. Um, now what do you guys want for breakfast? Let me think. So, I want some waffles, then I want some ice cream, <laughs> and then I want some more waffles, then some cereals, then some Cool Whip, then more ice cream, then cereal, then some roll-ups, and then I want some nut butter bars. I want eggs and bacon and a fruit bowl just to be extra healthy. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you're hilarious. I'm kind of full from all the ice cream tea. That's a nice list, Sarah, but I think I'm just going to make you guys some pancakes. Yeah, Sarah, this is not a buffet. This is just my kitchen. Yay, Emily's back. Kitty, I'm sorry. Your toilet is clogged again. Ooh, that's yucky. Oh, no. We don't have any toilets. Oh, that's okay. We'll take care of that. Um, Let me just finish your breakfast. I hope you guys are going to love my pancakes. <laughs> oh, Bloxy, it's okay. <laughs> What's so funny, Sarah? <laughs> I helped out. How? I unclogged the toilet. Oh, how? With what? With my hands. I made an improvement. <laughs> Ew. Ew. 
Aqua. Hey, Sarah, that's so gross. Sarah, go wash your hands right now. Sorry, I was just trying to help. Actually, Miss Titi, there's a whole list of things that I forgot to tell you that I'm allergic to. Let's see, I'm allergic to grain, whole wheat, pasta, Ooh. chicken nuggies, ice cream, pancakes, blueberries, raspberries, any kind of nuts, any kind of grain, bread, butter, and last but not least, sesame. Maybe you should just have water for breakfast then, Emily. I think it's okay, Emily. I don't think you are allergic to these pancakes. Sarah, please take a seat into your pancake. Hmm. This needs more syrup. There's nearly enough syrup for me. I also made these yummy blueberry muffins yesterday. I don't like blueberry muffins anymore. Goldie. Emily, I thought you were allergic to blueberries. I don't really enjoy this food, so I'm just going to have some more ice cream. Okay, these girls are a tough crowd. Okay, guys, so why don't you finish eating, go brush your teeth and get dressed, and we can go to the beach. It's going to be fun. Don't forget to put on your swimsuits, okay? Okay. You know, girl, I don't think we should be brushing here and our, brushing our teeth. You know, it's pretty boring. I think we should go outside in the pool at PJs, yo. Emily, you are such a rebel. You're my hero. Guys, stop flitting around. We should brush our teeth. I don't understand you, spit. Step toothpaste. Guys, stop fooling around. Let's brush our teeth. No, I don't wanna. Let's go put our swimsuits on. Come on. Even better, let's go in our pajamas. Yes. Goldie, truth or dare? Dare. I dare you to jump off the umbrella into the pool. Done deal. I am not scared of nothing. And a one and a two and a one. Wow. Whoa, Goldie, that was epic. But are you okay? No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the slide. Somebody call for help. T.T. T.T. we need your help. Help, help, T.T. Goldie's stuck. Goldie, I'm gonna have help you. Oh no, I got my pajamas all wet. What? <laughs> Say, I'm swallowing all of the pool water. What's going on, guys? Emily, why are you in the pool with your pajamas? Goldie, you guys were supposed to be getting dressed. Help me, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My head is stuck and I'm gonna drown from drinking too much water. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about for summer life, people. No, what about me? I'm drowning. Okay, Goldie, when I count to three, I'm going to pull you out, okay? Okay, I'm so scared. Careful with the hair. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, oh, thank you, Titi. Now, girls, you were supposed to be getting ready so we can go to the beach. What's going on? Whose idea was it to come to the pool? I don't know what it was. Neither do I. TT, the whole pool idea was all my fault. Please don't tell my mom. You know how strict she is about this stuff. She'll never let me have another sleepover again. Yeah, it was all Emily's fault. No, just kidding. We all actually, um, we all actually agreed to come into the pool. You too, Sarah. Say something. Well, I suppose that you should take the ice cream machine away from Goldie. What do you mean, my ice cream machine? It wasn't even my master plan. I told them to brush their teeth and they didn't listen. Okay, okay, girls, calm down. I think we can all move past this and get ready for the beach, okay? Yay! Are you girls all ready? Goldie, you're not even dressed yet. Go put your swimsuit on. Oh, hi, TT. We know about your little love affair. Guys! What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Goldie, go get dressed. Okay, I am all dressed, and we are ready to go. It is the most beautiful day to spend at the beach. Come on, guys. Excuse oh, me. Emily, what were you doing? I had to use the bathroom one last time, if you know what I mean, TT. Okay, everybody, put on your seatbelts. Um, guys, just need to warn you, TT is not the best driver, and sometimes she runs over things, and sometimes even people. <gasps> Goldie, that's not true. I'm so excited to go to the beach. Are you guys excited too? Yeah, Goldie. So excited. I've been waiting to go to the beach since forever. Okay, guys. We're almost there. I'm going to get us the best parking spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Okay, we're fine. That was a close we're one. We're too young to die. Let's abandon the ship. Abandon the ship. ship. Abandon ship. See what I told you guys? My mommy is the best driver. She got us the best parking spot ever, you see? <laughs> okay, Goldie, don't make fun. Oh my goodness, the water is so cold. Just fine, silly, but Oh, it is chilly. 
I can finally relax and enjoy this beautiful weather at the beach. Oh no, I think Sarah's drowning. Oh, what do you mean? Prank ya, prank ya. Guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had such a fun day today here in Bloxburg enjoying the summer. If you want to see more videos here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you like my new summer look. Let's show off our TikTok dances. Okay, that's good with me. Do you want me to show you some of my TikTok moves? Go Titi, go Titi. Go, Titi. Go, Titi. No, Titi, stop. That is so embarrassing. Oh my goodness, so awkward. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Okay, Goldie, we're here at Mailing's house. I'm gonna drop you off. I am so lucky that she's starting off her little babysitting business and she's charging really cheap to babysit. Did you tell her that I'm shy and that I'm kind of scared of her mom? Oh, don't worry. Her mom is not the one babysitting you. Come on, this is her family's temple. Isn't it so pretty? Yeah, it's really beautiful and everything. Now, her house connects to the temple, so come follow me. Wait, Gigi, wait, I'm just so shy and I'm a little nervous and scared. You don't have to be. And I need to go <laughs> to work because I need to pay off this Gucci bag I just got. Now, come on, Goldie. I promise you're going to have an amazing time. Okay. And now you'll only be here for a few hours and it's going to be so fun. You get to hang out in her big teenage girl room. I don't know about it, Titi. Oh, no. I'm going to, I'm going to faint. Goldie, stop. She's going to open the door any minute now. Now, I'll be back in a few hours. Please be on your best behavior, okay? I'll try, Titi. Hey, Goldie, I'm Maybelline. You can call me Mei Mei. That's what my friends call me. And I'm so happy to babysit you. I'm trying to earn some money so I can get tickets to the next Four Town concert. What is Four Town? It's a boy band, don't you know? Oh, yeah, I like boy bands too. What's a boy band? Well, do you want to go to the Daisy Mart and get a snack or something? I heard you like ice cream. And there's a really cute boy named Devon that works there. Is that your boyfriend? No, it's just a cute boy I drew sexy pictures of. What the French toast? Anyway, do you want to see my house? I'll give you a house tour. Yeah! This is the front of my house. And it connects to our family temple. It's the oldest temple in Ontario. Whoa, that is really cool. It kind of looks like the temple from Mulan. I guess. Um, wait, don't, Goldie, don't climb up there. My mom will be so mad at you. <gasps> I don't want to upset your mom. She's real scary when she's mad. Wee, I just took a bite out of the bamboo. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Anyway, I'll show you my house. This is my living room where we watch our favorite shows. Um, and then over here is my kitchen. It's spotless because my mom doesn't like a mess. <gasps> but you don't even have any snacks out in the counter or an ice cream machine. What kind of life are you living? Yeah, we don't have an ice cream machine, Goldie. My mom likes to cook everything and we eat like oranges for snack and stuff. <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry to hear that for you. Um, it's fine. Oh, that's like a real artistic picture. I want to take a closer look. No, Goldie, get down. That's my mom's artwork. She's going to be so angry. Get down right now. Sorry. I want to see your teenage room. Okay, so here's my room. Oh, it's very underwhelming. It's going through some remodeling. I, I made a little bit of a mess. Your bed is so bouncy! Woo! Yeah, it's wee, my bed. Wee, it's wee, fine, wee, I guess. Wee, 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 wee. You can stop bouncing now, please. Wee, wee. One more. Okay, I'm done. Your mom did mention that you are a little hyper. Sometimes I am, especially when I have a lot of ice cream. Uh, here is my desk where I do all of my schoolwork. Because you know I am an A-plus student. I even know how to speak French. I know how to speak French, too. A uh, croissant, baguette, a uh, wee wee, and a bonjour. Okay, those are some words, I guess. So, Mei Mei, do you have a boyfriend? Why do you keep talking about boys? Aren't you a little young for that? I'm not even little. One time, I even had a crush. I have a crush, too. <gasps> really? Does the boy do have a crush on like you back? 
No, he's the boy from the Daisy Mart. He's 17. It's just a silly crush and it's nothing. It's nothing, okay? Let's not talk about it anymore. Mimi, tell me more about your crush. Why are you so shy about it? I don't want to. But you're my babysitter and I want you to tell me more about your crush. May May and Daisy Mar boy sitting in a tree. Goldie, stop! Stop it! You're being a little bit annoying. Let's just go get you some ice cream so then you can just relax. I'll tell your mom to give me money for whatever you buy. Good! Can I ask you some personal questions about the boy in the Daisy Mart when we're there? You wouldn't! <gasps> oh yes, I would! This love thing is so interesting! I want to know more! I want to know more about you and the Daisy Mart boy! Goldie, stop talking about it! Maybe this whole babysitting thing is not for me! <sighs> she makes me so annoyed! <sighs> I need to use the bathroom! Come on, May! Tell me more about your crush! I heard you made a picture of him as a mermaid. Oh, I can't control it. I can't control my panda. I need to go. Okay, relax, me. You cannot babysit a little kid while you are panda out. You're going to scare her. You're going to hurt her. May May, come out. Come out. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> come on and tell me more about your boyfriend. I can't control it. I'm so angry. Stop it! Ah, what in the world? What happened to you? Why are you a big red pig? I'm not a pig. I am a red panda. Now my babysitter turned into a ginormous red piggy. Uh, help me, help me. Shh, stop, Goldie. It's just me. I just... When I can't handle my emotions, I can't control them, I turn into a red panda. Big, long story. B but it's okay. I am okay. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. I'll turn back into mailing. Don't come close to me. I'm so scared. Please go away and stay away. <sighs> you see? It's just me. It's just me. Me. It's all good. Look, how about we go get you an ice cream? Here, I have my wallet, my treat, okay? Wait, can you explain to me what just happened? You turned into a ginormous red furry animal. It was kind of cute, but kind of creepy. I'm sorry. When I can't control myself, sometimes I turn into a red panda. It's just what happens to the women in my family. It's a long story short, but I didn't mean to scare you, Goldie, okay? Don't tell anyone because I, I don't want your... I don't want to lose my job as a babysitter. I'm actually not scared, but it's super adorable. Do you think I can make a TikTok with you? as a red panda, please. I'm begging you. Please, I'll do it again. I don't think so, Goldie. My mom does not allow me to just pan out and make TikToks. No way. Aw, come on. I'm begging, begging you. Come on, let's go get a snack. This is a Daisy Mart, and they've got a bunch of snacks here. Ooh, I'm kind of hungry. Uh, May, this is really underwhelming. There's not even real brand names here. Where are all these bags? Are they supposed to be chips or something? I don't know what happened to the Daisy Mart. It didn't used to look like this. And there's no one even working here. <sighs> oh, he's not here. Are you sad because your crush is not here? I guess it's for the better so I don't spill the beans by accident. I guess you're right. Anyway, we should get back to my house. Your mom is going to pick you up soon. Tell my mom about your super cool uh, magic power to turn into a panda. No, you can't tell anyone. How about my best friend Sarah or my best friend Granny? No, no. What about my little baby sister? She can't even talk yet. No, Goldie, you can't tell anyone. Fine, but can you at least do a TikTok with me? At least one dance to say so dance is the only dance I memorize in the corona. Fine, just one. Didn't even notice the punches that you're rolling. You gotta keep it going. You gotta say hello. Didn't even notice that she's a big panda. You gotta keep it going. She has a crush on the boy. Yay! Thanks so much, May. I hope we can do this again. Hope you'll babysit me again now that I know your big secret. Your mom better pay double next time. Yas, queen! Hello, 
there. You must be Stacy, right? Yes, you're right. Is this Elsa? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Aw, thank you, Elsa. All right, so what papers do I need to sign now? Just a moment, please. I'll bring those papers right away. You and Elsa can talk. I booked an appointment for today. Can you tell me where I'm supposed to go? Just a moment, ma'am. I'm going to look through the list of all the scheduled appointments to see where your name is. Oh my god, that child looks so cute. I wonder what her name is. Wait, why don't I just go and ask? Ma'am, where are you going? I still haven't found your name on the... I think you're going to be a great daughter, Elsa. I'm excited to bring you home. Oh, you're such a little cutie. What's your name? Thank you. My name is Elsa. Wow, that's such a beautiful name. I don't even need to go to that appointment. I've already found the child that I want to adopt right here. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I'm the one that's going to adopt Elsa. I came here first, and I already discussed this with the adoption center. Elsa is taken. Well, Elsa is still here, right? That means she's not taken yet. I can still adopt her. You think I'm just going to stand here and let you steal my daughter from me? I won't let that happen. She's not your daughter yet. Keep that in mind. So adorable. We're going to have a lot of fun together, Elsa. Hey, put her down. Sorry to keep you waiting. I brought the papers. You just have to sign. <gasps> Um, sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Kylie. I want to adopt Elsa. Didn't you hear what I said? Elsa is taken. She's getting adopted by me. Can you explain this to her? Well, Elsa technically hasn't been adopted yet. You still haven't signed the papers. So she can still get adopted by anyone that wishes to adopt her. Haha, <laughs> in your face. All right, where do I need to sign to adopt Elsa? Are you serious? I've been talking to this adoption center for several days. Now wanting to adopt Elsa. You can't just let some random person come in at the last minute and snatch her away from me. I'm sorry, but we also warned you that if you weren't quick, someone else might be interested in her. Since you haven't signed the papers, Elsa can be adopted by anyone. Great, now what? Is that even a question? Elsa is coming with me and that's that. Well, this isn't the first time we've faced a conflict like this. If two or more parents want to adopt the same child, the child can choose to spend a day with each parent and decide who they want to adopt them. Elsa, would you be willing to do that or do you want to choose right now? That sounds like a good idea. Well, she's coming with me first since I came here first. And who are you to decide that? Calm down, please. I think it's fair we'll let Stacy take Elsa first. I believe you do not have an appointment here, right, Kylie? Well, I do, but I don't need it anymore. I've already decided that I'm going to adopt Elsa. Stacy came here first with an appointment first, though, so it's only fair that she takes Elsa first. Hear that? That's right. I'll take her first. Now get out of my sight. Come on, Elsa. What's her problem? Like, why is she so rude? Well, I don't have to worry too much. There's no way Elsa's gonna choose someone like that over me. That's for sure. Welcome home, Elsa. How do you like the house? Wow, the house is so big and pretty. I love it already. I'm glad to hear that. Make yourself at home. Is there anything you want to do? Do you have any toys that I can play with? I love playing with toys. Sure, I have lots of toys you can play with. Let me take you to them. Toys are amazing! Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. You can continue playing. I have some work to do. Wait, Mom, aren't you going to play with me? 
I'm sorry, but like I said, I have a lot of work to do. I can't play with you right now. I hope you have fun playing with the toys. It would have been much better if she played with me too. Oh well, she must be a busy woman. It's fine. Oh my God, Elsa, what have you done? What do you mean, what happened? Look at the mess you've made. You misplaced all the toys and you even put scratches on the walls. What sort of behavior is this? I'm sorry, Mom, I really didn't mean to. I was just having a lot of fun. This is unacceptable. You can have all the fun you want, but you absolutely cannot ruin the walls and appearance of my house. Is that understood? Yes, Mom, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. As a punishment, you won't be able to play with those toys for the rest of the day. But, Mom, I said I'm... No ifs or buts. My decision is final. Also, lunch is waiting for you downstairs. I didn't do it on purpose. It was just an accident. Now I can't play with all the toys at all. I was having so much fun. Hey mom, is there any other food to eat? I'm really hungry. These vegetables and fruits won't be enough to make me full. There is more food, but I won't let you eat it because it's unhealthy. I can't let you eat too much unhealthy food. But mom, I'm extremely hungry. I usually eat healthy food. I only eat unhealthy food sometimes. It doesn't matter. I'm not letting you eat junk food. This is the only type of food you'll get. So you're going to have to get used to it. Seriously? I have to eat this every day. It doesn't even taste that good. Well, what are you waiting for? Finish your plate. Don't leave any vegetables out. You have to finish all of it. All right, I'm done eating my food, Mom. Well done. Now wash your plate and utensils and put them in those baskets in the kitchen. I have to wash them? Of course you do. You have to do your own chores around here, Elsa. But I do not know how to do chores. Then learn how to do them. The only way you're going to learn is by doing them. Elsa, just go in the kitchen and wash them. Can you please help me a little? I've never done any chores in the past. I really don't know how to do them. <sighs> Fine. I'm not going to do the chores for you. I'm only going to tell you how to do them. You still have to do them yourself. All right, Mom. You're finally done with the chores. Huh, took you long enough. I promise to do them quick next time, Mom. That's good. You can do whatever you want now, since you're done with your chores. Does that mean I can play with my toys? No, you can't. You can't do anything except play with your toys. Mom, I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the walls of the house. It was only a mistake. And you're going to keep making that mistake if you continue playing with your toys. I can't let that happen. I'm only saying this one more time. You cannot play with your toys. All right. All right, Elsa, stop reading your book. It's time to sleep. Sleep? But mom, it's only 8 p.m. It's too early to go to sleep right now. I always go to sleep at this time, and so will you. You have to wake up early tomorrow too, so it's best that you sleep early and get enough hours of sleep. Why do I have to wake up early tomorrow? Uh, because that's how it works in this house. 
Now don't ask me any more questions. Close that book and go to bed. Now. <laughs> Why is mom so strict? I know she cares about my health, but she's just being too strict with me. It's going to be really difficult to fall asleep this early. Welcome back, Stacy and Elsa. I hope you both had a good time yesterday. Elsa is a wonderful daughter, so yes, we did have a great time. Of course, there are some things about her that could be better, but we can improve them together once I adopt her for real. That's great to hear. All right, Elsa, you will now be staying with Kylie for the rest of the day. When you come back tomorrow, you can tell us who you liked more. Elsa, there you are. I missed you so much. You both will be spending the rest of the day together. I hope you have fun. Welcome home, Elsa. Do you like the house? This house is much smaller than the one I was in yesterday. It's not too small though, so I still like it. Yes, I do, Mom. It's a great house. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you have toys that I can play with? Of course I do. I have a bunch of them upstairs. You can play with them for as long as you want. I can play with you too if you want. Oh, really? You're going to play with me too? Of course I am. It's more fun when you're playing with someone else, right? Thank you so much. Yes, it definitely is. I must say, you are very good at playing with toys. I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm having a lot of fun too. I want to keep playing like this. Sure, we can play for as long as you want. But we'll need to have a lunch break. I don't want you to stay hungry for the rest of the day. That's fine. Okay, it's lunch time. Let's take a break now. Oh, but I was having so much fun. Don't worry, we can continue playing as soon as we're done eating lunch. Yay! All right. What do you want to eat? I'm in the mood for something extremely tasty. Do you have some ice cream? Yes, I do. But that's only dessert. What do you want for your actual lunch? Can I have a chicken sandwich? Of course you can. I'll make one right away. Really? Thank you so much. All right, the sandwich is ready. You can eat it now. Wow, this tastes so good. I love it. That's great to hear. Let me know when you're done with the sandwich. And then I can give you some ice cream too. You're such a fun mom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll put the ice cream here on the table. You can eat it once you're done with the sandwich. I enjoyed the lunch a lot, mom. That makes me very happy. Do you want to continue playing with the toys now? Or do you want to do something else? I want to play with toys. All right, all right. We're going to do just that. Let's go upstairs. Oh, wow. It's already 9 p.m. We've been playing with toys for quite a while now, huh? I'm sorry if I distracted you from work. It's fine if you're busy. You've already played so much with me. Hey, what are you talking about? There's no need to be sorry about anything. I was just having so much fun with you that I lost track of time. But we should really sleep soon. I want you to get enough hours of sleep. We'll play for one more hour and then we'll go to sleep. Is that fine? All right, Mom. It's 10 p.m. now. We should sleep. Oh, can we just play for a few more minutes? I would love to, but sleep is extremely important for your health. 
Elsa, I don't want you to stay up too late. We should sleep now. I understand. Wow, today was an extremely fun day. Mom is so much fun to be around. I wonder who I'm gonna pick. Welcome back. Did you have a good time together? We most certainly did. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Good. She's never going to see you again though. I'm going to adopt her. Well, that's up for Elsa to decide. Elsa, have you decided who you want to be adopted by? I have, yes. Alright, let us know. I enjoyed my time with both of you. Stacy really cared for me a lot. She wanted me to eat healthy food and sleep at the right time. I was a little sad that I couldn't eat anything tasty or stay up a bit later, but it was important for my health. But I think she was too strict. I only made one mistake, and she didn't let me play with toys for the rest of the day because of it. It's fine to eat unhealthy food sometimes, but she didn't want me to eat it at all. Also, she didn't spend much time with me. I was alone for most of the day, but Kylie played with me for the entire day. I want Kylie to become my mom. Seriously? Come on, this can't be happening. I was here first. She is mine to adopt. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we all agreed that Elsa would make the final decision. If she wants to stay with Kylie, then Kylie will adopt her. There are many other children here that you can adopt. You know what? Forget it. I'm going to find a better adoption center. I've wasted enough of my time here. You can now adopt Elsa. All you have to do is sign these papers. Congratulations to both of you! Yay! Yes! Yes! I finally have a mom! And I finally have a loving and fun daughter. We are going to have a very good time living together.